hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial my name is julia rack in case if you are coming across my channel for the first time and if you're my returning subscriber you are welcome so in today's video we are going to be cutting and sew this sweetheart neckline blouse that you're seeing i have made a pattern drafting tutorial the link is on the description box in case if you haven't seen the tutorial yet so if you have seen it then get your fabric of your choice and uh, let's get into the tutorial okay guys so let me introduce to you the material i'm going to use for this tutorial okay so i have here first thing here i'm going to introduce to you is the interfacing the interfacing i'm going to use it to iron on my on my lining to gi give it a little bit uh, weight because the lining is a little bit light okay so this is the lining i'm going to use this is um suit lining okay you can use any other lining but i choose to go with suit lining and uh, this is my warden okay this warden is what i'm going to use to pardon the boss area of my blouse you know this is a sweetheart neckline if you want to use a already made bra cup it's not going to work let me tell you the truth it's going to be difficult for you to get that shape so the best thing you need to do is to use warden to create your bra cup okay so yes so these are my pattern and this is the back pattern okay this is my front pattern and this is the second of my front pattern okay my front pattern has two pieces why the back is only one pieces okay i just decided to just use one piece if you watch the pattern drafting tutorial i show you what i did but if you haven't seen the tutorial click on the link on the uh, on the description box to go and get your pattern ready okay then come back here for the sewing tutorial so now this piece here is the one i'm going to use to cut out my warden because i need to pattern my bust area so to do that the easiest way you need to use a, fr a fresh pattern a fresh a fresh paper place it underneath your pieces okay and then uh, you're going to trace it out so that is exactly what i did okay i place a fresh pattern and i trace it out as you can see where i trace it out from okay so i trace it out and i cut it out so i will not have to destroy my uh my main pattern and the same thing also goes to this uh, front because all these things um the one that i'm going to pattern is the front pattern okay so it's only the front pattern on your bust area that you need to pattern okay i hope you understand so here is the fabric that i'm going to use and this is um um this is cotton this is cotton material they call it polished cotton it's very thick but not really thick as jeans material and it's a little bit stretchy not really stretch okay so i'm going to use one yard from this tutorial in case if you want to use a sleeve you want to add sleeve that means you're going to use about one and a half yard but i'm not going to add sleeves to this because on the original design is a detachable sleeve so you can decide to add sleeve or not okay all right so now that we are done i have gone ahead to cut out my fabric i place my pattern on the fabric and then i cut them so this is my front pieces and the back uh, uh, pieces okay so and after now i'm going to uh, cut out use the same fabric to cut out my lining okay just like the way you see now i have gonna have to cut all this out and uh, now it's ready to to be working with okay to start joining them together so these are my front piece and my back pattern so the next thing i'm going to do is to start cutting out my wording so i'm going to this is this is the wording i'm going to use okay so i'm going to fold it into two the it can, anyway you can just use for any part either the shining part or but make sure you fold it okay so that you have two pieces okay from the front like this very one here it's only one piece that you need so it has to be on fold okay make sure it's on fold and you don't need to add sewing allowance because you want to cut it to be 0 0.5 inch shorter than your main fabric okay so when you're going to join it you don't have to join from your wording so make it a little bit shorter than the main piece i will show you how to place it okay so now that i'm done cutting this part i'm also going to fold this one again so that i can cut out the second piece 
so this one has to be two pieces okay please arrange it proper don't make mistake when you're cutting it and don't take the pieces uh, the pattern of pin it down until when you're ready to use it before you unpin it okay so my wordings are ready and also i've gone ahead to iron interfacing on my lining as you can see it's a little bit thicker now so now i can work with it so we are going to start iron the wording on the front pieces okay from the boss part area okay so i'm going to start with this pattern too okay so make sure you you don't throw your pattern like i say so that you use it as a guideline so i'm going to open separate them so that i can be able to place my wording on it to, to iron okay so look for the the shining part you're going to place the part that is shining to the wrong side of your fabric okay and make sure it has to be 0 0.5 inch uh shorter okay so that when you're going to join them together you're going to sew in from this part you're not going to sew on your wording i don't know if you understand my explanation if i'm explaining it well if you do <laughs> leave your comment below let me know if you understand this okay so now i'm going to arrange the second one that is the second for the center front part okay i'm going to open it and then place the part that is shining okay i'm going to place it so i have gone ahead to iron okay i have ironed this so i have ironed my wording on my fabric another tip is if the wording is not being is, is not a uh, joining together to the main fabric you can use a uh, hemming gum place it underneath and iron it on top so it will stay okay so now i'm going to start by pinning my pieces together okay we're going to start by pinning this make sure you pin it since you're working with something like a bit a bustier kind of thing you need to pin it so that when you are going to join it it will not distract you okay and also you're going to start your pin from the upper part okay whatever thing you're going to do you're going to start from the upper part now that i'm done pin my front piece together i'm going to pin my back pattern also together so that we can just join everything at once and whatever thing you do to your main fabric also you're going to do the same thing to your lining okay i have gonna i have already prepared my lining so this is the remaining part i'm, I'm showing you now okay this is what i did to my lining all right so i'm going to also pin when you since you are dealing with the back uh, shape okay you need to start your journey from the upper part in case if there is anything any excess that left from the lower part you can easily trim that off okay so now that i'm done pin my back together to my front i will go to the sewing machine now and join it so right now i'm on my sewing machine i'm going to start by joining First of all, the front I'm joining with 0.5 inch allowance that I kept while I was cutting out my pieces. Okay, join it with 0.5 inch allowance. I'm going to join this round. The only part that you're going to join with one inch is the 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 back pieces. Okay, the side by side, whatever allowance that you add, use it to join your pieces together. Okay, I hope you understand this. If you do, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new to my channel and you're yet to subscribe, you can do that now. So you will not miss out on any uh, DIY tutorial. Okay. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will not get, uh, miss out on any tutorial. All right. So now that I'm done with the front piece, now I'm joining my back piece side by side with one inch allowance that I kept earlier while i was drafting my pattern okay so any allowance that you use please make sure you take that same allowance out as your journey so now that i'm done now i'm going to i'm already on my <laughs> cutting table okay so the next thing now is to uh, start i'm going to notch it first before i iron okay i need to notch it so this this is how it's looking like i have not i haven't even done any iron but as you can see it's looking really pretty because of the the pattern so this is what i did to the front the front doesn't have a pattern so the lining i mean the lining doesn't have a pattern so it's only the main fabric that need pattern okay 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to notch all this part out so that when I'm going to iron it, it's going to help eliminate all those wrinkles that's supposed to appear on the on the fabric, okay, or on your yeah. So I have done iron this. I have ironed the front. Uh, I have ironed all my seam allowance, and also I've gone ahead to prepare my strap this is the uh, strap that i'm going to use to create loop on my on the back okay i'm making use of lacing i'm not doing with zip so yes and the length i cut here i later realized that the length was too long so i will advise you to at least cut out uh, two inches or two and a half yard <laughs> two and a half uh, inches for your strap okay so now that i'm done and also iron my seam allowance down so the next thing now i'm going to start working on the um, cutting out this excess okay do you see the excess that i was talking about make sure you find the center front of your blouse or from the center front so that will be the guideline for you to be able to trim out the excess and it's going to so that it will look equally okay so the same thing i'm going to do to the lining so for me to be sure and know how many inches i'm cutting out so i'm going to mark it okay i'm going to take out 0 0.75 that is what i'm going to do if you follow the pattern drafting tutorial and if you do exactly what i did okay you're going to arrive in this shape so you're going to take out 0 0.75 from there okay and then you from this part now i'm working on and then you're going to trim trim it up so once if we do that you're going to see everything is going to be equal so this is the shape from the original design this is how the shape is uh, the shape looks okay and um yeah this is my lining um yeah everything is equal okay so when i'm going to join it it's going to be easier for me to work with so the next part now is to start attaching this um loop i need to i need to place this loop okay i need to work on the loop because uh left for me alone i know what i will do but because of as a tutorial i need to show you what you need to do first thing you need to mark 0 0.75 if the material you're using is very thick okay mark 0 0.75 below but if the material you're using is not thick you can just mark 0 0.5 uh, yeah 0 0.5 inch below because that um you need to mark 0 0.5 inch before you place your loop okay so that when you're going to join your lining together it's not going to uh disturb you or you're not going to uh, sew on your loop so from that part now i'm going to just start marking 0 0.0 point, uh, no one inch the distance between the loop itself is just one inch in between there okay so mark 0 0.5 inch first down before you start uh marking one inch to place your loop so you to the lower part also you do the same thing mark 0 0.5 inch up or 0 0.75 up before you place your loop okay and then yeah whatever thing that remain in between those between the upper part and the lower part then you can use it to create your loops okay i hope this explanation was clear if it's not clear i don't know <laughs> please you can rewatch it again so that you understand so i have gone ahead to place all my loops on the on the back pieces this is the back part that has loop okay so now that i'm done with this i'm going to get my lining now and place it right side facing the right side of my fabric okay and then i'm going to pin this down so the reason why i always pin so that uh when i'm going to join it i'll just it'll just be easier for me to work with okay the best thing you can do is to make sure you you place the right side facing the right side and the seam allowance exact to the seam allowance if the seam allowance is not uh, equal that means you did something wrong okay so now that i'm done pin this part so this is the part i'm going to start sewing okay i'm going to sew the um, the back pieces also join the part that the loop is first before i will start joining the the close up the upper part and the lower part okay so that is what i'm going to do right now i'm going to join the the lining and the loop like the part where the loop is i, I don't know if you understand this 
that is the back pattern okay the back pieces i'm joining the back pieces first with the lining and then i'm going to do the same thing to to, do, to this side join the lining and the main piece for the back okay this is the back i haven't started joining the upper part yet okay so now that i'm done joining the side now i'm not it's time for me now to start joining the upper part okay so be careful just take your time don't rush it okay make sure you are not stitching on the each other fabric okay just follow the shape of your of the bracco so the the wording that you use is actually another guideline for you to follow the, the sweetheart uh, shape okay so yes that is a good part of that wording it's a guideline as well so now i'm joining the lower part and we are going to join it you're not going to join it all okay remember to keep allowances like um like uh, two inches or 2.5 inches so that you can be able to turn your fabric to the right side okay yeah so i'm going to stop here and i'm going to start all over from this part here so this is the part where i'm going to uh leave uh, one side open so that is why i i made a top stitch there and then i'm going to continue again this is about like two inches that i kept so yeah so basically that is it after done from here i'm going to take out the pins so i can go back to my ironing table so i noticed that the allowance that i kept is too small so i'm trying to open it a bit more so that i can be able to turn my main piece to the right side i hope you understand this explanation i hope you were able to follow up and understand exactly what i did so yeah i'm on my cutting table now i'm going to turn the main piece to the right before i will do that i'm going to make a stop stitch a uh, notch i'm going to notch all my seam allowance because if you did not uh, notch your seam allowance when you are going to turn it out see this particular place that i'm touching you need to notch and you need to cut out those thick um uh, excess from it okay you need to cut it out so that when you're going to turn it it's going to be lay flat did you see that so i'm going to start now by any part that i feel like is too thick i'm taking it off okay so i will notch and take off the part that is too thick so when i'm turning it out i'm not going to have trouble um uh, making it lay flat okay i'm also trimming this part off so make sure you are sure that you join your pieces your lining everything lay equal like the way uh, the way mine is okay if you're not sure of it don't trim it off because you need to lose it and make a correction but if you're sure that you stitch it proper and everything lay flat and nice then trim off this part that you see me trimming okay so now that i'm done with the stop st uh, notch i'm going to start now by bringing out my pieces to the right side okay so from this part here where i left with two inches i'm going to start now by turning it to the right side from here now okay so i hope you will be able to get the chance to recreate yours and um i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and um help me share the video and leave your comment below let me know if you were able to make it and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching so this is how it is so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to my ironing table and i'm going to iron it okay i'm going to iron it at this point my phone went off well uh yeah my phone went off so i've already done all the stitching and that is the result and thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next sewing tutorial and uh, have a blessed day have a blessed week have a good afternoon good morning good afternoon wherever you're watching from and thank you once more again for watching